Hi guys! Um... <laughs> yeah, I caved in and bought this game. Who needs food, right? So yeah, my uh, food money went to buying games. But that's okay, I need to lose weight anyway. So this is the newest uh, adventure game from uh, Datalik Productions, or Studios, or I'm not quite sure what they're called. Actually, shit, I should know. Um, yeah, let me just uh, fix the volume here. There we go. Okay, I'm so excited about this. Um, I also bought the, the game that I've been talking about, which is my favorite adventure game. One of my very favorite adventure games that, that was on sale. So, um, yeah, that kind of inspired me to spend all my money on games that I've been looking forward to. I was just like, oh, okay, no, whatever. It, you guys don't want to hear that. Alright, uh, settings. Good, windowed. Okay. Alright, here we go. And so it begins. My apprentice's finest hour. If only I had been there. I could have prevented it all. Mm, this is pretty chuggy, Bun. Um, let's try that. Much better. for the beginning of your story. If we can find you a beginning, you'll know where to go from there. <laughs> you have no idea how lucky you were to cross my path. I know a lot about stories. I hope you aren't just here to steal one of mine. Want, are you? All right, to find your beginning, we must look for something that feels like once upon a time. Are you serious? Follow me. Even if you lose yourself, beginnings can be found anywhere. And only those who start can find their way. And you will recognize it. A beginning smells like the air in spring and the hope for more. A beginning is... I think you already know. Endings, on the other hand. Well, we can worry about those later. Do you understand? Don't kill me.
Weren't you listening? Oh well. I have a feeling you will understand much sooner than you think. <laughs> Fog must be playing tricks on my imagination. <sighs> it's gotten cold, don't you think? Follow me. There's your beginning. It's really lucky you stumbled upon me. I don't think you would have found your beginning all by yourself. You look familiar somehow. I'm sure we shall meet again, unless the fog thickens more. I can't see the hand in front of my face already. Strange fellow. He reminds me of a character in one of my old tales. I hope he finds his way. Not even I could say where he'll end up if he doesn't, or when, even. So, let's help his beginning along a bit. Ah, this beginning rhymes. I must note it down right away. After a long summer day in a place not far away, Jeremiah Hazelnut was tucked in bed to dream of the dream that he always had. Each night to his mother, Jerry did say, I want to be a magician one day. And each night she would reply, as mothers do, one day, sweet son, your dream will come true. And as mothers do, she whispers, Good night. Soon Jeremiah Hazelnut would sleep tight. And soon, very soon, as dreams sometimes do, the dream that he had would come true. Card game? I fucking hate card games. If it's like something other than solitaire. Or those type of card games, not like battle card games and shit. Jerry! Jerry! Uh, yeah? What do you want, um? Wake up, sleepyhead! Oh, oh no! I, I, am I going to be late for school? Come out! and enjoy the sunshine. You don't want to sleep away your whole summer vacation, do you? Summer vacation? Jerry, school starts the day after tomorrow. You don't have to worry about your things until then. I still have two days before school starts. I've still two whole days of adventure left. Ha-ha! <laughs> Like we do every day with our morning calisthenics. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. What on earth is this? Usually it's the top 40 playing all day long. The crows must have overdone it yesterday. There's not a single one in the sky this morning. What a beautiful day. Crows? But don't just sit there and rust, or you'll just make it easier for them tomorrow. Okay, follow my lead. If you don't want to listen to our program, then go ahead and start your day any way you like. Imagine a small X floating in the air. You can click on it to drop out any time. Wow, when he says it like that. 
I can practically see the X floating in front of me. But why would you want to drop out? What? You think you already know everything? Yeah, smart Alex. Touch the radio. Imagine a mouse pointer. Move it to the radio and then click with the left mouse button. No. Oh, okay, I thought that was going to be the intro. Hi guys, I'm back. It is fucking hot outside. Oh my god, I hate this state so fucking much. So yeah, uh, I had to go drop off some poop to the vet. And, uh... <clears throat> went to the grocery store, picked some stuff up. Oh my god, I'm sweating. If I had balls, they would be in a wet pile on the floor right now. Okay. Let's keep going. I like the cute little loading screen. Jerry! Oh my god, we did this already. Jerry! Shut up. Like we do. Shut up. Good job. Well done. <laughs> Child's play. You can tackle anything stupid movie. just like that. Looking, talking, using, running around. <laughs> just click on it. One click. Everything is just one click. Yeah, yeah. Is this a sales presentation or what? Now, let's try it again. This time, talk to the radio. Yes, that thing where the voice comes from. Talk to the radio? Once again, just click on it. Huh. I'm not talking to a radio. Well, that would be a one-sided conversation. You did very well. Thanks. But how? One click. Everything is just one click. Did you notice how your muscles and sinews stretch when you click on something? Doesn't that feel good? He's right. I ought to do morning calisthenics more often. You're probably thinking, I ought to do morning calisthenics more often. Man, he's good. And you know what? What? You can. It's our program. Start the day fit and cheerful. And on we go. Some things can be looked at and picked up. That's good for the back. So keep looking at things and picking them up. Now find yourself an object. How about that basket on the window, sir? You already found something to pick up? Go ahead, then. That's the way. That's good for the back. You are now carrying the basket. Yes, carrying all the useless shit that isn't nailed mouse. down is good for the back. Or by pressing the I key. Man, oh man. Now, let's try it again. Have a peek in your inventory. Doesn't that feel good? Your inventory. You can carry a lot more around in here than you'd think. And carrying objects around is healthy. You can also look at them. To do that, click on them with the right mouse. Ah, oh, nice basket. Hey, looking with the right mouse button works really well. Looking with the right mouse button works really well, doesn't it? Absolutely. And now we'll try the left mouse button. Use the left mouse button to take items out of your inventory. Left click on the basket. Oops. Good Hand job. That isn't supposed to happen. Normally, you would just pick the basket back up. But don't panic. Remember, there are no problems, only challenges. You're bound to repair that basket in no time, for sure. Use the left mouse button to select items in your inventory. That will allow you to use them with other items in your inventory. Use one of the items with another one. 
That will get your circulation going. There! That wasn't so hard. True. It was easy. And do you notice how your pulse is calming? Feels good to repair something you broke, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. And now for the next step. You can also use items with your environment. Left click on the basket and then carry it out of your inventory by moving it past the inventory's edge or by pressing the I key or scroll up with the mouse wheel. Environment. <laughs> That's not what we were going to do now. Hope Too you bad. didn't pull a muscle. Just open your inventory again. Mm. Left click on the basket and then carry it out of your inventory by moving it past the inventory's edge or by pressing the I key. Very good. Try showing the basket to a beloved family member. Hmm. Who should I show the basket to? I think your mother is hanging up the laundry in the meadow in front of the house. Man, he's good. Wow. It's as if he's oh, he's a fucking stalker. Use your basket with your mother by moving the basket to her and clicking the left mouse button. Oh, Jerry, as you've got the basket. Yeah, and I didn't break it at all. That's fantastic. Could you go and mix some blackberries for me? For? For blackberry pie? Of course! Oh, boy. Pick blackberries? Check. Congratulations! You've completed your fitness program for today. And remember, a simple leg cramp could cost you your life when you're fleeing from a wild crow. Huh? What's he talking about? Stay fit, stay cheerful. Mousewood Radio now continues with the Leaf Fall Report. Mousewood Radio? Huh, never heard of that. It must have something to do with sunspots. Dry as a bone. It hasn't rained for weeks. What a summer. <laughs> he looks like a young Professor Layton. Oh, what? Eh, empty. I think Mum already picked up the mail. Ew. Mmm, sweet and juicy. Jerry! I'm okay, Mum. I won't eat them all. What? Jerry, I just want to remind you to pack your things for school tomorrow. Yeah, I'll do it. School. Huh. Wait, didn't she say school was the day after tomorrow? We call that old rock the dwarf. Mum says it. Please keep watching out for us, old dwarf. I'll take one for later. That's supposed to be good for your eyes. And an adventurer like me needs to see everything. Didn't you hmm. peel it first? Footprints. A large animal must have run through the carrots under my window last night. Or wash it, it first. Long extinct mammal. The gremlin wolf. Ever since I became a junior member of the Jungle Explorers Club, my theories have sounded a lot more convincing. So much expertise for just 50 cents a month. Hmm. I'd say it was a... so much. As so many of our listeners have requested it, we'll now repeat our program. Oh, I'm getting too old for the... To prepare for our exercises, please... Wow. It's a good thing I still have the basket. No, no, no! There, like new. Touch the right Imagine. No, no, no. Fuck. Of course, you can also start tuning again. Just click and remember. Huh? Stay fit, mouse would wait. Mouse would wait. It must have. This could come in. Oh, Jerry, as you could you go? Oh, for black oh, pick. 
Jesus. Uh, my school stuff is in there waiting to be packed. But adventure awaits out here. At least until lunch. And at three, there's a new episode of Future Dogs. Four legged like time travelers. No marauding kids in sight, and also no sign of the gremlin wolf. <laughs> As usual, the coast is clear. My secret stash! Oh, I shudder to think what havoc my magical tools could cause in the hand of a lesser magician. The whole world would be in peril. Kid, you need a girlfriend. What do we have here? Matches. Firecrackers and my gold coin. Let the adventure begin. Or a boyfriend. Oh. Ah, or friends in general. You never know. Don't want the gremlin wolf to pick up my son. Oh ho! Oh, oh ho! Oh, they look delicious. Wash them first, ew. Blech. They're sour. Ugh. Why do red currants always trick me like that? Uh, it must be the bright red colour. Huh. Sparrows used to live in that nest. Hmm. Maybe we'll have eggs next spring. It's not going to go bang anymore. The black powder's leaking out. My lucky coin. I always use it to practice magic trick. Only one match left. Looks delicious. Though personally, I'd prefer marzipan. Mum needs blackberries for her pie. What am I waiting for? Adventure calls. Hmm, okay. Oh wait. Oh, okay. Mom! Yes! What, what was I supposed to pick for you? Um, it was raspberries, wasn't it? Blackberries, silly! Blackberries! Use the basket on the windowsill and don't just stick the berries in your pockets. I won't. Thanks! <laughs> Who says you can't teach a 12-year-old new tricks? You were supposed to be 12. Yeah, right. Set trash here in the woods. Oh, unbelievable. Uh, I can't count the times I've got a splinter to trying to climb it. Why wouldn't you climb a tree instead of a lamppost? Fool. Mum always says I should be careful not to get lost in the woods. Then I always say, hey, I'm 12, and I know the woods like the back of my hand. Although I must admit, it's pretty spooky in there on the sunset. Mum says people put up these little animal statues a long time ago to bring luck to hikers. I think there were more of them a couple of years ago. Hmm, is there like a button I can use to see all the things I can click on? The owl's wall. It goes all the way to the big tree in the woods. Ah, oh, wait. 
Mum says there used to be important trails to faraway places here, long before there were cars. Today, you can only get from here to our house and to the woods where the old path tree is. The Owl's Wall. Ugh, the town looks so grey again today. When I was young, there was nothing but fields here as far as you could see. No, but seriously. Since they built the supermarket next to the school, it looks even worse down there. School. With only two days of summer vacation left. Then I'll be stuck down there in a classroom again. Now that's an even worse thought. Yeah. Although, that means there's still two days of adventure left. There are still two. <sighs> Sometimes I think the statue looks greedy. Other times I think it looks needy. I wonder why. It looks so... satisfied. That prickly bush thinks it can keep me away from the juicy blackberries back there. Someone should teach it a lesson. Ow! Ah. You win this round, Bramley Bush. You just reached in there. I'm always Idiot. Says I should, then I was. I'm twelve, although I must. It's pretty. Sp ah! There are blackberries back there, but this Bramley Bush is in the way. Let's see what we have. Hmm, nothing really. Wait, what did that say? Oh, Dr. Pep. I thought it said derp. <laughs> I was like, derp cola? Hell yeah, I'll drink that shit. <laughs> it's so quiet here. Like the town is miles away. Whoa. What am I supposed to do with such a heavy rock? I can't carry it very far. I'll put the heavy rock back. That's really hard on the arms. You're supposed to lift with your legs, fool. You can draw really well with these chalk stones. I think I'll take them. You never know. I always used to sit on this rock, huh, because it felt like I was riding a great big animal. I'm too old for that now. I used to fish for tadpoles here. The water actually looks pretty clear, but sometimes it smells just awful. Well, yeah, that's what happens. I'll take that. One of my books says that mushrooms only grow in circles in special places, near entrances to the realm of the fairies. But it also says that fairies can be really, really unfriendly. Hmm. I'd rather not meet any. I heard there used to be an old trail here. Maybe that's why we call this the path tree. Anyway, this is now a dead end. The Owl's Wall. It runs between the trees. This stone would make a good picnic table, but unfortunately the pond smells so fishy in the summer that you can't eat anywhere near it. Not even a bite of blackberry pie. No matter what happens, I'm well prepared. I've got a stick. Who dumps their trash here in the woods? Oh, unbelievable. You can draw really well with these chalk stones. The stone is too slick to draw on, and I don't want to put it away yet. I could crush the chalk under the heavy stone, but where should I do it? 
The stone is too slick to drop and I don't hmm. an excellent place for me to draw with the chalk. But I can't think of anything to draw. Hmm. Writer's block. I need inspiration. I'd better not scr I'd better not scribble on that. There's no space for graffiti. I'd better not scribble on that. Whoa. What am I supposed to do? I can't count. Ugh, can't reach that far with this thing. This stone would make, but unfortunately, the pond's not even. Hmm. All right, I have no other choice. No bush can stand between me and Mum's blackberry pie. A fatal mistake. <laughs> 